to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Dental crown. A dental crown is a type of dental restoration that completely caps or encircles a damaged or weakened tooth. It looks and functions like a natural tooth. A dental crown is a custom-made cap placed over a tooth to restore its shape, size, strength and appearance. So you can think of it as a literal crown that sits on top of a tooth that's weak or damaged. A dental crown is often made from materials like porcelain or ceramic, this is to match the natural tooth colour, metal alloys like gold or silver, porcelain fused to metal, or resin or zirconia. Crowns are used in several scenarios. They can be used to restore a weakened tooth, this can be from decay, cracks or large fillings, to restore a broken tooth or one that's been worn down, to cover and support a tooth with large fillings, to hold a dental bridge in place, to cover misshapen or severely discoloured teeth, to cover a dental implant, or they can be used after a root canal treatment in order to strengthen the treated tooth. The procedure for a dental crown is simple. First, an initial examination is carried out alongside x-rays. The dentist evaluates the tooth and takes x-rays to check roots and surrounding bone. Next, the tooth is prepared. The tooth is filed down to make shape for the crown. If there's significant damage, the dentist may build it up with filling material. An impression is taken of the shaped tooth and the surrounding teeth. Then, a temporary crown is placed to protect the tooth. Following this, once the permanent crown has been made, which usually takes one to two weeks, the temporary crown is removed and the permanent crown is checked for fit and colour. Then, it's cemented in place. A dental crown can last more than 15 years with good care. Regular brushing, Flossing and dental checkups are vital to ensure its longevity. Dental implant. Here is a healthy tooth. Here is a dental implant. A dental implant is a permanent tooth replacement that mimics both the root and crown of a natural tooth. It consists of a metal post, which is usually made of titanium, that's surgically placed into your jawbone and a crown that sits on top. Think of it like a screw with a custom-made cap on top. The screw mimics the root and the cap mimics the tooth. Dental implants are used for a few different reasons. They can be used to replace a missing tooth support a bridge for multiple missing teeth, anchor a full denture for better stability, preserve jawbone health by stimulating the bone like a natural tooth root would, and they can be used to improve chewing, speech and appearance. A dental implant has three main parts, fixture, abutment and crown. Each plays a key role in replacing a missing tooth. Implant fixture. This is also known as a screw or post. This is a titanium or zirconia screw that's surgically placed into the jawbone. It acts like a tooth root, anchoring the entire implant securely in the bone. Abutment. This is a connector placed on top of the implant fixture. It's often made from titanium, gold or zirconia. It joins the implant post to the crown, serving as the foundation for the visible tooth. Crown, also known as the prosthetic tooth. It restores the function and appearance of the missing tooth. 
This is the visible part that looks like a natural tooth. It's made of porcelain, ceramic or porcelain fused to metal. It restores the function and appearance of the missing tooth. The procedure for an implant is simple. First, x-rays or 3D scans are taken. The dentist checks bone density and oral health to make sure that you're a good candidate. Next, the implant placement surgery takes place. This is when a titanium implant post is surgically inserted into the jawbone. The area is stitched up and left to heal for a few months. During this time, the bone fuses with the implant. Then the healing period takes place. During this time, the implant becomes anchored in the bone like a natural root. Once healed, a small connector piece, known as the abutment, is attached to the implant. This part sticks out slightly from the gum and will hold the crown. Last, a custom crown is made to match your natural teeth. This is the visible part of the replacement tooth. It's either screwed or cemented onto the abutment. A dental implant can last more than 15 years or even a lifetime with good care. Regular brushing, flossing and dental checkups are vital to ensure its longevity. Dental bridge. A dental bridge is a false tooth or teeth that bridges the gap between two healthy teeth when you're missing one or more teeth. It's called a bridge because it connects the teeth on either side of the missing space. The teeth next to the gap, called abutment teeth, are used to anchor the bridge. A dental bridge helps to replace missing teeth without surgery, restores your smile, makes chewing and speaking easier, prevents other teeth from shifting out of place, and helps to maintain your face shape. This is because missing teeth can cause sunken cheeks. There are a few steps to the procedure of fitting a dental bridge. First is the consultation and planning. The dentist examines your mouth and takes x-rays. They decide if the nearby teeth are strong enough to support a bridge. Next is the tooth preparation. The two teeth next to the gap are shaped by removing a small amount of enamel. This creates room for crowns that will hold the bridge in place. Then impressions are taken. Impressions are moulds of your teeth. These moulds are sent to a lab where your custom bridge is made. After that, a temporary bridge is placed to protect your gums and teeth while the real one is being made. This usually takes one to two weeks. The final step consists of fitting a permanent bridge placement. When the bridge is ready, the dentist cements the crowns onto the abutment teeth. The false tooth, called a pontic, fills the gap perfectly. A dental bridge can last 10 to 15 years or even longer with good care. It's vital that you brush and floss carefully around the bridge, especially under the false tooth. There are special floss threaders that can help to clean under the bridge. 